everybody. Welcome back. How are you? Don't mind my mess. My husband been down here and putting stuff on my desk. So we are working on, <coughs> excuse me, September 5th through the 11th. And I'm a little behind. But September, as you know, this is my, what do they call it? The Frankenstein, Frankenstein planner. It's a mixture of all things. Plus I'm using... I'm not buying anything for this. I'm using my scrap paper that I have and making my own stickers and all that. Well, to put up here, since it's September and school started, I got this tape out. Um, and I'm putting this on the top. I already put it over on the other side. So we will finish putting it on this side. And... Okay, using my Christmas Hobby Lobby card to do that. But this is the, I'm going to fold it over because this was a pain to get undone. So it's the ABCs, but it's like Western print. Let's see. See, it's like Western print, different fonts. It's really cute. And we already cut out the scrapbook paper. I showed you all these scrapbook papers. So last... Last week we used mostly orange, and this time we're doing mostly, looks like green. I already placed them here so you could see. I took off my today little thing, and so we could do that. I already have this filled out because there's already stuff going on. So Monday we didn't have school. She had a sleepover. She couldn't go to her friend's house for her camping trip last weekend because the school called and said somebody been exposed to COVID. So the mom that she was going with, her child is not able to get the vaccine. So we postponed that. So she had a couple other friends in her same grade. They're not sick. They haven't been sick. It's just a possible exposure. They can't give you anything more than that, you know. The kid could have been on the other side of the room or whatever. <clears throat> so anyway, she had a sleepover with a couple of her friends this last weekend. Then there was no school yesterday. She went back to school today, but we had an awful weekend. Friday, I was working on videos in the middle of it and no internet. I was so upset. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I couldn't get anything to work. Then I finally looked up at the router and it was red. I'm like, crap. So I called them, because sometimes they they have an outage and don't tell you about it or whatever. So I called them. No, it was out. They couldn't fix it. So we were out without internet all weekend. They finally showed up this, this morning, and there was something wrong at the main building down the road. So there's nothing they could have done anyway. So we had to rely on our phones. It's a good thing I have um, unlimited data on my phone. But then yesterday, Monday, Labor Day, no one's in the office for Verizon and nothing is working. I can't get on the internet. I can't, I can't get on the internet and I couldn't um, text or anything. I'm like, what the heck? So I figured, well, maybe it's just the house, you know, so I rebooted it, did their steps online, what to do and all that. Nothing worked. I'm like, what the heck? That's not the words I used, but I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. So I go down. So I'm just gonna go down the road because we're not that far off the freeway. And the freeway, I've always had service once I get down by the freeway. So I went down to that gas station down there, and all that when driving down there, I see all these cars with red lights, brake lights, and I'm like, what the heck? Well, that answers that. There is an accident. So I saw a police officer that lives in our town on the side of the road, so I went over and I talked to him. I said, what happened? And a car got on fire, and I guess the lady and the couple of kids were in the car. They're okay, thank goodness, but <clears throat> he's trying to use his phone. I said, do you got Verizon? And he said, yeah, and I said, it's not gonna work. He couldn't make a phone call. That's a police officer, and he could not make a phone call. That's not cool. I mean, he still has his dispatch stuff, but I know that they use their phones a lot. And I'm like, that's not cool. So uh, a little while after that, about an hour after that, that was probably about nine o'clock 
eight thirty, nine o'clock, my phone started working, but I still had no bars. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And it worked. I could go to the internet because I need to be able to check my emails and bank at my husband's, you know, I mean, our side job. I mean, he works for the government. He has to have the internet. He was lucky to have today off. Oh my gosh, it was going to be a nightmare. Anyway, so we got it all fixed. We finally got internet on. That was a long rant for this one day for just today. And she went back to school today. So tomorrow she has a church, a church thing. And then, um, I need sometime this week in the next couple of days, I need to go in and order her pictures cause they get in pictures um, next week and I'll pay for them before she goes so she don't have to worry about it. So anyway, I picked out these. I got two of these, the ones that I cut out with you, these ones, the leaves. I got two owls and I got these green leaves. So it's mostly the leaves and the owls still. I'm still using, I think for September, I'm just going to use these. And then October will be Halloween paper. So we'll just use these because we'll use these again in November. And if I find a different paper or whatever, we'll use for that, but which I do have. But we'll use these for now. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, let's see, Thursday, she wants to go, her, Jeff's dad passed away 2019, um, September 9th, 2019. And <coughs> I take Ariel up to the grave. My husband won't go. But I'll take Ariel up. Since it's on a Thursday this year, I'll go pick her up from school. And we'll just drive over to the cemetery so she can go see Grandpa. So that's what we're going to do Thursday. And then, of course, 9-11 is Saturday. And it's an anniversary. And I put so sad. It is so sad. I think a lot of people have forgotten but the kids that were babies, it was 20 years ago. Those kids are 20 years old now. They have no clue. They don't have any idea. My kids, my older kids, were 15, 14, 15, 12. They remember. But these new new kids, these new, you know, this new generation has no clue. That's why there's no respect, no nothing. But, yeah, it's 9-11 on Saturday. So, um that's pretty sad. So that's this week. And I decided to write in green, but I wrote in pencil here. But um, I decided to use green for writing in here for this month. So that's what I did for this week. So I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of a rant. But um, yeah, so there's September 5th through the 11th. A little bit going on. And I'm going to move these for a second so I can show you. The month calendar, I have filled out a lot more. We have filled out, and I knew it would end up that way. We filled out, can you see, there's a lot more stuff, you know, for this. And then every Wednesday will be her church function. She goes, they have like a uh, a meeting. I, it's like an um, activity thing they have every Wednesday. Then we have school pictures. And then at school is a Hawaiian day next week, excuse me, homecoming parade. Um, and then my grandson's birthday is next Monday and midterms. And so that's pretty much it so far for, I do have a grandbaby due on the 24th. I don't know if she's going to be on time or late or what. I don't know, but we'll see. So anyway, that is for the month. That's what that's what we've and that's one of the reasons why I don't like to make pen because she can't go, so I had to X it out. And I don't want to white it out because it looks horrible. I could put a sticker over it probably. So there we go. I'm gonna glue these on. And um yeah, move on to the next day stuff. Alrighty. We will see you again soon. Bye now.